वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाया टैरो टुडे वी आर हियर विथ योर एयर साइन एक्वा जेमिना लीब्रा वीकली एनर्जी गाइडेंस मैसेजेस रीडिंग फॉर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज फ्रॉम मंडे टू संडे वी विल सी ईच डेज एनर्जी एंड ओवरऑल वीकली गाइडेंस सो लेट स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम द ओवरऑल एनर्जी फॉर द वीक ओके एयर साइंस योर ओवरऑल वीकली एनर्जी गाइडेंस कार्ड से इज नाइन ऑफ वॉन्स so whatever the situation is you guys are going to find yourself dwelling on the past hurt and trauma throughout the week this is the overall energy for the week so my advice for you try to be busy and try to definitely ground your energy more often to get out of those past traumas and find your peace let's see what's the monday holds for you okay you got six of wands on monday so monday is the day for your victorious glorious approach towards your path and that is something that will give you the platform where people will definitely look up to you and your success that's really good let's see what's the tuesday brings to you on tuesday you have king of swords so on tuesday you are very much unstoppable and you know everything better and for sure your communication skills will be on top notch and definitely you are moving forward with any kind of information that required towards your success let's see what's the wednesday holds for you okay on wednesday you have three of swords probably this is the heart ache and trauma that i was seeing in the nine of wands energy my advice again for you try to just get out of these energies and try to calm down your emotions and praying meditation and some creative work might help you for you if for some of you if you feel like you can take a walk in the nature whatever helps you calm down your energies needs the balance that you have to find on this day that is highly recommended for you let's see what's the thursday card holds for you okay on thursday you have the four of cups so definitely it is not that easy for you to get out of that energy and probably for that you are going to miss out on some opportunities heading your way if you are not conscious enough if you are keep on being sad and depressed regarding the lost situation or opportunities or traumas you are probably going to definitely get out of some chances that you were meant to find these two cards back to back coming out is giving me the reminder that the yes or no pick a card number 4 had they two got these two cards together so if you saw that this is the message coming again for you let's go forward to the friday card okay on friday you have three of wands so by friday you are getting out of the energy a little bit and definitely thinking about your future progress and growth for some of you you are connecting to people from overseas or some loved ones from far is definitely going to be in touch with you on friday let's see what's the saturday card holds for you okay on saturday you have the world card so definitely abundance and prosperity is heading your way on saturday and for some 
you are going to end a cycle in your life and move forward with another chapter. That is really good. Let's see what's the final card on Sunday. Okay, on Sunday you have the Wheel of Fortune. This card is my most favorite card in this deck. So, this is the card of ultimate prosperity and abundance and change. Good changes coming your way for sure. So, definitely you are heading for prosperity for sure. So, Air Signs, this was your weekly energy guidance for next 7 days from Monday to Sunday from Tarot. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for you as your overall guidance messages reading. Okay, you got 3 cards jumping out for your weekly guidance. Your first card is Consult an Expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area this is your first card and this gives me the vibe that you need to know more you need to know better regarding any situation in this week so definitely you were the king of sword energy in this week still you need more information and some expert opinion also Let's see the next card, Air Signs. Your next card is A New Dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So, Air Signs, your second card tells about your Three of Swords, Four of Cups and Nine of Wands energy situation. It was in the past, let it rest in the past. Move forward with your new beginnings new chapters coming your way and that will give you your desired goals in future. Let's see your final guidance card. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So you are called to make a wish on this week because this magical moment is going to bring you your wish fulfillment so that's something really positive to have as your overall guidance let's see what's aqua have for their weekly guidance messages reading Okay, Aqua, you also got three cards jumping out. Your first card is rest. You have been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest is your first card, Aqua. You need to take some rest to balance out your energy. Overwork is never good. It is going to reflect on your work. Your energy or lack of energy will ruin your ultimate and expected best quality of work. So, take a break, have some rest. Let's see the next card. The next card is Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still and enjoy your solitude. Indulge in much needed self-care. Aqua, same message for you and just another card. You need to take rest, enjoy your me time and definitely self-care is also indicated. You need to take a break, you need to take some time off. Let's see Aqua, your final card. Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that there is that you are God's perfect child. So, Aqua, if you have anything or any issues regarding yourself that you can't forgive yourself, it's time for you to forgive yourself. Because whatever you did 
or whatever that happened and you reacted the way you reacted there is nothing that can change that and there is no need to change that at that point of time it was happened the way it meant to happen and you are perfect in every way so self forgiveness is your another guidance aqua let's see what's the gemini gemini have for their weekly energy guidance reading this reading is getting long with all the extra cards it's okay sometime we get extra cards because only one or two cards can't give you the exact guidance all the time okay gemini cards are quiet very much quiet for you what is happening okay so gemini you got only one card and the card says wait don't rush into action right now bide your time for better results so you have to wait gemini whatever you are thinking that is not coming faster now is the time when you have to hold on a little more and be patient and see that things will work out naturally and in divine timing I know it is difficult for you sometimes to hold on for a little while but you have to wait a little more. Let's see what's the Libra have for their guidance this week. Okay, Libra. Libra, you got two cards. Your first card is Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. So if you have any issues regarding your father or someone in your life who have the father figure in your life, it is time for you to let it be or let it handle by divine so let god handle this and you will definitely regain your power and increase your abilities by concentrating away from those issues and your final card libra is treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now so libra something definitely big and abundant is heading your way be prepared to be dazzled will of fortune is definitely shining upon you so air signs this was your weekly energy guidance messages reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead